Hi everybody, Derek Hart here again from Styles Machinery. I'm the Applications Manager. I'm going to give you a bonus episode today. We've been getting a lot of feedback from people on other platforms regarding horizontal boring and down insertion. So this is a quick one. So this is a boring machine. So it'll be a quick little video. So the idea of this is a machine that will drill and insert dowels for European or dowel construction. So this type of customer or maybe doing face frame now or doing a construction with a butt joint and they're doing maybe screws or nails or staples. This allows them to do a joint um, this is tied in with a joint that can be uh, with a router. So we talked about the router last week, nested based router. I can do the face drilling where this gives me the horizontal building drilling ability to do a cabinet that I don't need to post laminate. So if I have uh, screws or nails and I have a finished end, I'm gonna have to cover that after the fact. Where here, this is all hidden fasteners. And these are a dowel construction, which is proven. This is uh, thousands of years old with dowels. So it's nothing new, there's no new technology. It's just the way we run it. Today we're going to use our uh, Homag Drill Tech uh, D200. This uh, is a horizontal boring and down insertion machine built here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, it's one of uh, one of our volume leaders. This is a big machine for customers, especially if you have a nested router. This allows you to add a machine like this and they go right into a case clamp. This is my eight foot version, but it's also available in a four foot version. And today I'm going to be working only in one zone down here my four foot zone, but I could be working larger parts or I could have a second person working down there while I'm working down here. So simply the way it works is I have a stop in the table and you can see it right here. I bring this part over here and a stop in the back that locates the part. The clamp is going to clamp it down and I have a sensor in here to say, do I have a part there or not to make sure I don't drill with nothing there. As it clamps down, we keep a very small pinch point. It's under uh, about three millimeters, so it's not a safety issue. And it allows me to load a part over here, hit go, and we'll just run these four parts through. You can kind of see the basic operation of how a person would run this machine. Now, my dowels are loaded from the hopper up here, and that's a vibration-driven hopper. So it does make a little bit of noise, but uh, ignore that for a second and just kind of watch what's going on. activates and it's a very strong little joint so um, if you have any other questions or comments or things you'd like to see let us know otherwise uh, I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>